I call your attention to the verse of scripture that's printed on page 163 in the study guide. It's from Matthew 6 and 6. Repeat it after me as I shall read it. These are the words of Jesus. The Father, the Father who, sees in secret, who sees in secret shall reward you openly. And I'm going to have written on the green board these words. The Father sees and confirms me as I see and feel myself within. And repeat it after me as well as you are writing it on your notes. The Father sees and confirms me. The Father sees as I see and feel myself within. As I see and feel myself within. Now here's another interpretation of that scripture. The Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And I'm going to have you write this also in the first person. I will appear in the outer world. As I appear to myself, as I appear to myself in, my inner world. in my inner world. Mm hmm. I'm going to go over that again. And we're going to put that on the green board too. Let's say it again. I will appear in the outer world. I will appear in the outer world. As I appear to myself. In the inner world. In and let's comment on some of the words and terms in this particular lesson. The Father. When you see this, the Father, it means the source, the source of all, the source of everything. This is the Father. God in me. And what does it mean the Father sees in secret? It means that as you see yourself within your own mind, so does the indwelling God, the source of all things, see you. To compare again that immortal episode between Esau and Jacob, the father felt Jacob as he felt to himself. The same way that you see yourself within the secret place of your own mind, this is the way that the Father, God in you, sees you. And God in you confirms you in the image and likeness of the way that you see and feel about yourself in the secret place of your own heart. And then you will begin to appear in the outer world as you appear to yourself in the inner world of your own mind. And this is why visualization is so important. Because in visualization, we learn to control the way we see ourselves in the secret place of our own mind. How do I see myself in the secret place of my own mind? Together? And be sure that in time you will appear in the world just as you appear to yourself in the secret place of your own mind. It may not happen overnight. Sometimes it begins to manifest instantly because the Father sees in secret. You see, what you are seeing and believing and feeling about yourself at this particular moment may be a secret to the outer world. Nobody knows what your inner vision is, what your inner subjective image is at the moment. But if you choose an inner subjective self-image and you practice seeing it and you just practice seeing it, the Father sees that in secret and will reward you openly, meaning your secret inner subjective self-image 
will be demonstrated, will be seen in the world of effect. And this is, this is the father seeing in secret. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. How do I see myself before God? Say that. How do I see myself before God in me? And I'm thinking now of the title of one of Reverend Ike's tapes in the Ten Commandments series. I think one tape is titled, The Making Power is Within You. And you see again, this is what the Father is. The Father is the making power within me. Say that. Say it again. And you see, don't you ever forget that, that the Father is the making power within you. The Father is not a gray-haired man, headed man with gray beard, sitting up in the sky on a big chair like Reverend Ike. The Father is the making power within me. Say it again. And there's one thing that will bless us if we ever come to understand it, and that is that the making power, the only making power in our own personal world is within us. Nothing on the outside of you makes you or even makes itself. Do you know conditions don't even make themselves? It is the Father that sees in secret and the Father makes you exactly as you see yourself within. <laughs> the Father makes me exactly as I see myself within. Come on. Why? Because God is always looking where? At the heart. The making power is always observing the way you see yourself in the secret place of your own heart. Isn't that interesting? So repeat that after me. The making power, the making power is, always is always seeing me as I see myself, I see myself within the secret place of my own heart. That's interesting. You see, the making power of God follows a pattern. Your own inner pattern of yourself and we as individuals must be a part of that making of that creative process creation is not finished I want you to know that you in God are constantly creating God in man is constantly creating the father who sees in secret, rewards you openly. What is done in the dark will come to light. What is done in that place in you where no one else can see will be manifest. But you see, we participate. We, we may consciously participate in the making process of our lives through visualization. So this is my advice to you and the lesson that I'm giving you tonight. Under Science of Living Principle, let us read together what it says. Whatever you want, see yourself as the one who has it. And you are to practice seeing yourself as the ideal person. Because the making power is always working on whatever you see yourself as being, doing, and having. Isn't that interesting? Let's say it that way. The making power of God in me is always creating that which I see myself being, doing, and having in my own heart. Isn't that interesting? I want to make you aware that there is a great creative process, a great making process going on in you at all times. Isn't that interesting? That's interesting. You know, you're a lot busier than you realize. You're busier with it. There, there's more going on, in a sense, within you than without. You are a, as an individual, you are a God's manufacturing plant. <laughs> and the raw material.
material that you furnish to the making power or the creative power within you is your self-image, your vision of yourself. All right? We're going to practice this right now, what I call visualization. Get comfortable in your seat.